My name is Brandon, and this is Seize the Chronic. This is my first video, so please bear with me. I want to talk to y'all today about the Hybrid X from Flower Mate. It is amazing. I've had Flower Mate product before. I had the V 5.0S, I believe it was called, and uh, I gave that to a family member. Um, I got this one about a week ago, and it is. It, I mean, it's all in one package. Um, it has the 510 threading for um, oil tank if you like e-cigs. Um, that's not my thing. I'm not a smoker, a cigarette smoker. Um, but um, but this is what's called a dab attachment. It attaches with the 510 thread, and it has a heated ceramic coil in the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Light's not too good. Um, and it heats that wax up, and it's like a like an email almost, but it's it's discreet. Um, it this is variable, so it goes from zero to sixty watts. Um, that should be enough for any vapor out there, I imagine. The uh, the other side is dry herb, and you go from you can go from I believe a hundred and two to 500 degrees I know that the 500 is the max on this and anything above 451 you're pretty much burning it you're not vaping anymore um, this thing is awesome I want to give a little uh, example with this right here I'm gonna take a dab real quick Um, these dab attachments are lower wattage um, they uh, I set this one on 15 watts it seems to be doing pretty good um, some go higher some go up to 20 um, and uh, my next attachment purchase is going to be uh, the MIG Vapor Brain Fogger and I will do a video on that when I get it because it's supposed to be amazing um, also the what you can put on here I also make these uh, concentrate e-liquid pins um, this isn't uh, this was an unsuccessful one I heated heated the coil up on this one and it burned all my oil up that's why it's so dark it's all burnt up and it's pretty old I've had this one for a while um, the uh, all they do is they screw in like the 510 and when it'll look like that um, and you lower I've been using 5.5 watts it uh, you get a decent hit and um, and it doesn't overheat it so it's not burning it and you don't get a burnt nest it tastes like burnt popcorn when you eat it it's awful um, just if that happens if you want to bear through it bear through it but I'll I throw them away um, the uh, the dry herb comes with these these pods you can put your dry herb into um, this one this stuff like this is good to take on the go but if you're at the house just use the ceramic chamber it's pretty deep and uh, you can fit more butt in there and you get a better flavor I think um, with this you stick just I've, I've got the pod loaded up I had it at, I had it while I was out last night um, but um, the one thing they f they did fix with the with this is the uh, on the one I had before there wasn't this flip up piece right here. All of this was just it was one connected piece, and you had to screw this directly on top of where you were going to be vaping it from, and this got super friggin hot, like super hot. Um. They did a, a lot better job with uh, with this one with the lid because all you got to do is close this, you screw it on, and if uh, you know if you finish with one with one bowl and you want another one and it's still hot, you don't have to burn your fingers on this to get to your to re repack your bowl. 
um, and that was a big plus for me on this one. Um, turn this side off and turn this side on and now you've got your temperature settings come up and I've got mine set to 440 right now um, that was a little high for me I didn't like the it was, wasn't enough flavor um, so I take it uh, back to 420 and I'm gonna let it heat up and I'll just like I say you you can keep it like this I like this it looks like a, a lightsaber or something I feel like I should be in a a battle I just but uh but if uh if you you know you're a on the go kind of smoker and you want a discreet way to do it this this is it um you can see the the temperature climbs really fast in this thing really fast And usually about the time it gets up to probably about up to 325, I'll start hitting it because that's when you can start getting a good good flavor hit. can't really see that it's vapor it's a very light vapor it's not quite up to, to temp yet and another thing was is not gonna it's not gonna heat up as fast inside here inside this oven pretty much in that in that metal pod that's why it's easier to just put the bud down in the ceramic chamber because it heats up faster and you get a quicker and bigger hit all right and when it heat when it's done heating up that little oven symbol pops up so it's ready to a little bit better hit off of that time I'm not I don't really like the like the pods when I'm at home I'm just finishing this one off because I had it last night while I was out um, on this end, these um, I hadn't exactly figured this out. These holes, I would imagine, have something to do with your airflow. Um, I cover mine up a lot just by habit of you know just gripping it, and uh, I'm trying to break that habit so I can get a little bit better airflow and get a little bit better of a hit. But um, other than that, um, on this side you can pull. All you do is pull. You don't have to hit a button. You just There you go. And on this side, you have to hit the button when you hit it. And when you hold that, but you hold the button down and you hit it, when it's on your your other setting over here, it'll show you how long you hit it for. It'll keep a time, which is kind of dorky, but a cool thing to have if you're. All right. So before I end this video, I wanted to add a couple of things um, on the Hyperdex. Um, this is the, uh, the oil tank it comes with it does come with an oil tank it comes with a Smith's sub X oil tank um, and I don't like I said I don't use the the nicotine or the e-cig types um, you know the oil but I do use the nicotine free stuff um, because I'm allergic to melon I just use like the uh, the watermelon and the cantaloupe and honeydew and stuff like that so I can still kind of get that that flavor, but not have an allergy attack doing it. Um, the last thing I wanted to add was I was just now able to get this open, so I'll be able to show y'all. I'm glad I, I was able to get it open. This is a uh, a concentrate pod, like the dry herb pod that I was telling y'all about. Um, it um, you put your concentrate down in that little that little nose right there, that little bump. You wrap it around there, and you screw this. You screw this on there I'm not gonna do that because it took me forever to get it unscrewed but um that's the problem it doesn't come unscrewed once you do this it gets down in these these threads and it gunks up the whole mess and you can't take it out right away because it's hot it's just been in a, a 500 degree oven 
and it's going to be hot so you have to wait for it to cool down but if you wait for it to cool down then the oil dries and it works like gorilla glue it's it's annoying and, and you don't want it to happen um other than that the hybrid x is is perfect um it has enough power for me um if you like what you saw today and you want to see more like and subscribe i will be trying to post videos as regularly as i can and uh thanks for watching season chronic